Hey there, I'm Tim Davis, Developer Advocate at Harness, and today I have the opportunity to introduce you to the coolest new module we have, Cloud Development Environments, or CDEs. Our customers these days have developers supporting many different projects, and each project usually has its own set of frameworks, dev tools, and even credentials for cloud resources. Reconfiguring the IDE each and every time you need to switch projects can be a massive pain. There's also some security concerns that can come through with having to clone local code to each and every individual's workstation. And it can even take days or weeks to onboard new developers due to the fact that you have to set up all of these local environments. CDE helps reduce the time to onboarding by providing on-demand, pre-configured, secure, remote development environments, or Git spaces, that help streamline the development interloop and make developers happy. So we are solving quite a few problems with this. Now, let me show you how easy it is to get started. We're going to go ahead and use a JavaScript application here. And one thing that I do want to point out before we get started is that there is a dev container.json spec file inside of this project. That is an industry standard file that we'll be using to spin up this remote environment. If we jump into the harness platform here in the CDE module, the first thing we're going to do is select our Git provider. Now, we can support Harness Code, GitHub Cloud, GitLab Cloud, and Bitbucket all through OAuth connectivity, and that'll let us use either public or private repositories. Or if we don't want to set up that OAuth authentication, then we can utilize any public Git repository based off of a URL. Now, we're going to go ahead and put this in here. We're going to utilize the main branch. For our RDE choice, we can use VS Code Desktop or over a web browser. We're going to use Desktop this time. For the SSH key, I'm going to use my laptop SSH key that I've already set up inside of the platform. For region, we have US West or EU West. So whichever one works better for you, you can go ahead and select. And for machine type, one size doesn't necessarily fit all when it comes to development. So we have standard and large size for the containers that you can utilize for these environments. We'll go ahead and hit standard and then create the Git space. Now that our CDE is spun up, let's go ahead and open VS Code Editor. We're gonna open. You'll need to make sure that you're utilizing the extension for Git Spaces that you can find in the marketplace. We'll go ahead and continue. We will trust the authors in the parent folder harness. And as we can see, it has already opened up to our repository. Now, one thing that we're going to need is our global Git configuration. We don't have to set up anything when it comes to GitHub because the OAuth authentication is already there. Now we've got our application. Let's go ahead and spin it up. npm run dev. All right, now that that's running, let's go ahead and check out the app. We have the Canary Show. Now we obviously love our Canary here at Harness, but today's a special day. So let's make a little bit of a change here. Let's come in and make that the CDE show. We'll come, change title, make that commit, go ahead and push that to GitHub. Now let's see. And now we have the CDE show. So you can see how easy it was for us to come through and completely spin up an environment, make some code changes all within minutes without having to come through and personally customize the IDE, install a bunch of libraries, and make sure that we had the tools. It was also secure because this code doesn't actually exist on my local laptop. We're securely connected into the Git space. Now, if you have any questions or if you would like to try this out for yourself, Come to harness.io, check out the module and some more information, and sign up.